couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers. Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna take Stairway to Heaven and experiment the heck out of it. Okay, experimentation is a great method of uh, practicing finger style freedom and finger style improvisation. You take something you already know how to play and you start changing it slightly. You change the rhythm, you change the licks themselves, you add a note here and there. Okay, I'm gonna walk you right through it and enable you hopefully to test it yourself and create your own personal private variation on Stairway to Heaven um, and take it as far as you want to take it. You can make it completely unrecognizable. Okay, we'll take it step by step. You need to know Stairway to Heaven uh, in order to do this lesson. So I have a lesson for Stairway to Heaven that I made many, many, many years ago. You can go when I was young and beautiful uh, and uh, you can go and learn it and come right back. All right? So let's start with the first chords. Okay? You can play them freestyle. You can change the arpeggio's direction. Don't worry about mistakes. This is all about experimentation. It's all about expanding your freedom on the guitar. Okay, so you can completely change the rhythm. Okay, you don't even have to play the high notes. You can uh, play the second string as kind of an anchor note and just change the bass note. And then you can do it with the next chord, with D. But this creates a D9 chord. If you if you like it, okay, use it. But if not, just play D. Okay. Uh, what I did here, if you want to know, is five on the second string with my little finger, uh, with my pinky, because it's the same note that we're playing on all three chords. Okay. And then I keep I keep playing five, but I add the next notes of the chord. We're playing D over F sharp. Um, two, three, two, and four on strings one, two, four. So I'm playing the two and four on strings three and four with five on the second string. Okay, that's what I do here. Uh, but again, just an idea. Okay, you can play D. Okay, works. You take the original, make it your own, and make it completely different. Okay, you can also play the high notes if you like. This creates kind of a counterpoint. I'm just playing the chord once and then I'm playing the second string. That's all I'm doing. And then you can do this. Okay, you can do a D5 chord. D with five on the uh, five on the E string. Okay, so okay, you just add the little finger on five on the E string to the original chord. Now it's not, it's no longer Stairway to Heaven, right? But you can take the riff itself and play it in a completely different rhythm. Okay, you can make it salsa, you can make it Latin. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm playing strings one uh, and four, and then I'm arpeggiating. Okay, strings three to one. And then I play the next note on the E string out of the next chord, and then I arpeggiate. I'm playing the first note, the first string, okay, as your first note, and then, then I arpeggiate the chord. That gives me the syncopation feel for the salsa. Okay? Okay, you can play. Okay, you can play strings two and three together. Okay? Strings two and three twice, and then the first string, and then the second and third again. Okay? Again, experiment with grooves. Big and slide. Um, and uh, okay, the seven, um, the seven, six, five on the D string becomes your main note. Okay, and there you have the four there. Uh, I'm playing an open D. Uh, so again. And then you, t you turn the bass notes into the focus. 
Okay, that's just the first four chords. Okay, um, you can solo with the high notes. Okay, but let's let's just. Okay, I'm not playing the E string at all. Okay, and then you have. Okay, you have F major seven. Okay, we're continuing with, with the salsa feel. Right? And the G and A minor, but you can also solo with the E string notes. You can solo with five, seven, and eight. Okay, you can do. Okay. okay you can just play around with the note. Okay, you have five, seven, and eight. Okay, there's not much to play around here. You just move the note around. Okay, uh, just try to make rhythmical sense. And then you have... Okay, you have the F major 7. So you can try a different variation of F major 7. You can play this F major 7. Okay, 5, 5, 5, five and 3. Strings 1 to 4. This is F major 7. Okay? So you can try to fit it in. Okay, I'm adding the 5 again to the D chord. Okay, and then I did 2 5 on E. And then the 5 led me to this F major 7. So you see, you can create new melodies on top of existing licks. here worked as a chromatic line. Um, I know that the natural note is 3 on the E string, okay? but 4 led me to 5, okay? creating a different melody. Okay? It's just a different mode, uh, it's just a different scale, just adding, just taking one note out of its natural position. Okay, you can use 10 as well, you can slide into it. Okay, you can play the notes on the E string first and then the chord. Ah. Okay, when you get used to it, you can start, you can start making it more complex. And then you have G and A. Okay, so you can use the F shape on 3 for G and you can push it to A minor to 5, 5, 5, and 7. So. Okay, so. And you have a different variation on the intro. Okay? Alright, now you take the verse. What's important here is the chord sequence itself, okay? Uh, C, G over B, which is 3 and 2 on strings 2 and 5, and A minor, okay? And at the end you have, okay, you can add the F major 7 to A minor if you want. You can do the G to A minor if you like. Remember, you're experimenting, you're not playing the original. out of the same chord. Okay, you can vibrate it a little bit. You can play... Um, I'm playing... Uh, my fingers just go there. Uh, I'm playing strings 2, 3, and 4, or 2 and 3 as block chords, and I'm playing the E string in between. <clears throat> okay, so... Okay, that's that's what my fingers wanted to do. So I want to explain what I'm doing. Okay, but I don't want to copy what I'm playing. I want you to experiment yourself. Okay, so try the high notes. Okay, G over B works 
with three on the E string as well as the B string. So. Okay, and you can use three zero on the E string with A minor as well. Okay, you can play a hammer on to one on F major seven, and then an A minor. Okay, you can do the same motif. Okay. Just experiment and keep Stairway to Heaven in your mind to give you a sense of uh, atmosphere, okay? to give you the framework, to, to frame what you're playing instead of just free improvisation, you're improvising on Stairway to Heaven. It's, uh, it's a psychological difference, but it makes a world of difference when you actually sit down to play. Okay? Instead of saying, okay, now I'm going to experiment with with um, <clears throat> with C and G over B and A minor and F major seven, I'm just gonna experiment over the C scale, the, the, the C chord sequence. No, I'm gonna take Stairway to Heaven and experiment on Stairway to Heaven. That way you still express Stairway to Heaven in your improvisation. It works, trust me. picking sequence. Change your picking and everything changes. Okay, change the rhythm and everything changes. Again, you can play it um, then you can play it upbeat. Okay, kind of the salsa rhythm that we did before, but these chords don't create a salsa feel. Okay, so you can play upbeat. Spit it up if you like. Um, you can hammer on the chords. Okay, and play it dirty. You can play the bass, you can hammer on the bass and then play the arpeggio. Yeah, you, you can't hammer on an open string for A minor, so hammer on the next note. Okay, and see what you get there. As long as you have straight rhythm, it, it will work. It might take a few, uh, a few, uh, a few tries. Okay, a few attempts. Okay, my first attempt, my second attempt weren't perfect at all. Now it kind of falls into place. This is what experimentation is about. Okay, you don't have to stick to to the bars even. You can play it completely outside the bar. And finish on G A minor from the intro. Yeah, you can take it and again and deconstruct it completely if you like. Um, and um, and that's, that's how you do it. You just take something that you know and you start deconstructing it little by little, little by little. You focus on one string, okay? Just like we focused on the second string. Then you focus on the fourth. Okay? Then you focus on the first. And then you find out that after you focus on each string individually, suddenly you can think about different strings altogether. this before I focused on each string uh, separately okay this is a result of everything that I, that I played before everything that I played at the beginning of this video so you subscribe to the channel because there are hundreds of lessons waiting for you for free here on the uh, channel on Lick and Riff so join the Lick and Riff community the Lick and Riff family I welcome you each and every one of you and thank you for watching you go experiment go experiment the heck out of this and uh, you can watch the other lessons I did um, on uh, Canon in D, experimenting with Canon in D and experimentation with Nothing Else Matters as well. That's also great. So um, thanks for watching. Bye for now and enjoy.